All right, so I do have here a Zoom H4n Pro, and it comes in this plastic box. This is a nice box. And then in here, I can show you there's two batteries in there, and I'm going to use those rechargeable any loop batteries. Um, I made a video about those, how great they are. Up here you can click to uh, find that video. Um, they are really great, they last forever. But uh, people are saying this thing needs battery or not, that's uh, not right. So if, you, I, if I use it as an audio interface on my Mac here, I just connect it through USB and then uh, this unit gets powered through this USB from the Mac. And let me show you quick how this works here. I'm sorry for the dark light. So it doesn't turn on its LED, LCD interface. The light, it doesn't turn on in there once you connect. You have to first connect to the computer. So let's change the frequency to 48 kilohertz and then push on connect and then it turns the backlight on. Okay. And now it's already ready. So all you need now is to connect a microphone to this piece. And uh, you can use the internal microphones that are on there, or you do external ones. So I have this one here, for example, that uh, comes with a preamp, that microphone. So you don't need phantom power on that one. And actually, I should use one with phantom power, this one here. So let me show this. So this here is an AKG there. Can I pull this closer? So that one needs phantom power, right? Let's see how we handle that. Okay. Uh, so this one has a preamp. Now I have to turn that on. All right, so now I have to turn the camera again. Okay, hold on a second here, please. Uh, what are we doing? So we have this microphone connected. We can hear this. There, and then there we can hear it now. Uh, we cannot hear it, so okay. The light is not on because we have no phantom power. So we have to turn on phantom power. Here like this, and then we are getting phantom power. So now the light on the microphone comes on, so that means the pre-amplifier in the microphone is working and has uh, power. All right, okay, so let me show you now how this whole thing is going to work on the computer screen here as an audio interface on the Mac. You basically don't have to do anything. We plugged it in as a USB and then we continue So, here. and uh, we just go here to Window Record Voice Over here. And then uh, if we need a voice here, we can use this microphone. It's in here, you see input H4, that's the H4 and Pro. And then when you record, you start record and you just do your text. Hey! It only takes 10 minutes. So I, so there we Skip go. In now, this video, at it's the moment perfect. where I let him fly hey. for the first time ever. See, I made a little more room. Turn it on, and then you have to wait a few seconds. And right, so, and that's how it was recorded. You know, you do your voiceover, you have your voiceover down here, and uh, it's a great uh, interface. And if you need to go someplace to do a recording somewhere else, you just take it with you. No need to have a big mixer there. And then later, once it's in here, you can mix the voice down here, or you can a apply effects, right? So if you have Final Cut here has a lot of audio effects. Echo, EQ, modulation spaces, for example, for this one here. So where do we put this? I, I do it here, right? So I turn this volume down and I just play here this. Okay. So there we go, now, right, like that, and then if I add a small room to it, here, then it will do that. So there we go, now, it's perfect, hey. You know, you can, all those filters you can apply to this, 
later. So you don't need a mixer, uh, you know, when you record. Right. So the last thing left to show you is that um, the batteries will last forever in this thing now, because what I'm going to show you now is that I remove the batteries. Because I uh, believe that once the USB is connected, so it has an external power supply, if you are somewhere in the field and you don't trust those little tiny rechargeable batteries, but I am thinking it is going to work with USB only. So where it is, as soon as USB is connected, the unit will be powered through USB. So in order to try this, I'm going to remove the batteries. One and two, put this back together, and just have uh, just have this thing connected with the USB. Now we have the same um, thing we had before, so it won't have backlight uh, before the connection. So we need to connect first. So now we have backlight, and now we can connect our microphone. And do we hear sound? We don't, because we removed the batteries, it turned the power back off the, the phantom power, so we need to go back to the menu here. You see the phantom power is off, the microphone has no light. We need to go into our menu on the H4N and uh, activate phantom power. Here, there, it's blurry, but okay, I know. So turn phantom power 48 volts for this microphone, turn that on. And there we see the microphone has power again. The preamp in the microphone is working right now. So everything is beautiful and is working with it. So you will never need batteries if you use it as an audio interface on your Mac. It's powered through USB.